everyone and welcome back to my channel. I had a few bits sitting in the fridge needing used up and I thought well why not make a crustless quiche with a sweet potato base. So I'll talk you through the ingredients and then we'll start cooking. Right so if we start here I've got a sweet potato it's a medium sized sweet potato. I've got a large courgette or two medium courgettes. I've got half a dozen large mush uh, chestnut mushrooms. I'm going to have half a dozen free range eggs. They're the large ones. I've got two tabs of the low fat cottage cheese. We have two medium red onions. I have some a honey roast ham. We've got some fry light for cooking, some salt and pepper for seasoning, some mixed herbs, and I'll pop in some garlic puree as well. And we've got a stick blender to mix the eggs and the cottage cheese together. You're going to need a bowl for that and your frying pan to fry off your onions, yeah, your onions, your mushrooms and your courgettes and then at the last minute add in the ham but you'll pop all your seasoning and everything in there as well. So I'll get organised and then we'll get to it. Right, so I've got my pan on. I've sprayed some fry light in the pan, a good couple of squirts of fry light and um, once that heats up we will add in the red onion, the mushrooms and the courgettes into that. But we'll just give that a couple of minutes to warm up. Right that's ready for the onions, your two medium red onions and your mushrooms. And your courgette. Excuse my hands, they are clean. I'm trying to do this one handed, so please bear with me. I'll leave that to cook and I'll get my egg mixture and my cottage cheese mixture ready and then I'll get back to you. Right, so I've got my six eggs in here now and we're going to add in our two tubs of low fat cottage cheese. So there will be a, a few sins in this one. But if you use the fat free, there'll be no sins involved at all. So just add both of them into your egg, egg mixture. Just like that. Make sure you get every bit of it. And to this, I am going to add some sea salt, not too much, and some black peppercorns. We'll add some mixed herbs. Just to your own taste. That should do it. Um, I'll just give that a little mix up. Doesn't look very inviting at the moment, I'm afraid. But it will get there. And then with the stick blender, we are going to whiz it up. Right, 
so let's check this mushroom mixture. That's looking fine. It's actually, this will cook even more in the oven. So, oh yes, and that's another thing which I did forget to say, I do apologise, is if you put your oven, preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius and I've got a, a fan oven. I'm going to add in the ham. This just warms it through. I've just got some ham that I've sliced up a wee bit here. Now I'm not using a quiche dish. I'm actually going to use a rectangular dish because I've got quite a bit of filling uh, to go in and I find it easier to cut especially for when my partner's taking his packed lunch. Right, so we'll just spray some fry light in here. And I've got my sweet potato here. So we'll just put some slices in there. And that's going to be your sweet potato base. So I'll just get this done. Right, so we've got our sweet potato, if you can see it there, our sweet potato in the bottom of our pan now. So I'll just get the mushroom mixture here now and we'll pop that into that. And then on top of that we put the egg mixture, egg and cottage cheese mixture. And then we'll just pour over our egg mixture, making sure it's evenly coated all over. So I've now decided I quite fancy a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, so I'll just sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Just finely grated Parmesan, not too much. That's it, all ready now to go in the oven. So I'll get that in the oven and we'll let that cook for 35 to 40 minutes and then I'll get back to you and I'll let you see, see what it's like when it's finished. Well everyone, that's had 40 minutes. Now I like to have some decent colouring on it. We'll leave it to cool for a little bit and then I'll let you see a slice of it when it's cut up. Hi everyone, I'm back again. I'm so sorry I forgot to film my dinner being dished up. So I've cut a slice of the quiche and as you can see it's got the sweet potato base and very, very filling. You've got so many different options that you can make with the quiche. You can have cheese and ham and tomato and all different kinds of quiche so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you like the style of video just give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and i'll know that you'd want me to make more videos and if you leave a little comment in the box below i will always get back to you and appreciate every single person that views my videos so Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.